Do -do -do. Oh, 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 oh. Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I am Sporkinator, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Korra. Now, we're going to make things even more interesting by purchasing that other talisman that doubles our spirit energy collection. And this is not the one. This actually doubles your health in exchange for taking down your attack power. But no, I want to cut my health in half. Doubles your... Exp oh, that's the one I already have. It's this one here. Has your attack power, but doubles the amount of spirit energy you can collect. So it's, uh, what's it called? Talisman SP times. It doesn't really have a name. It just tells you what it does. Okay, so I've got that now. So this could potentially be really difficult with my attack power cut in half. But I'm doing this anyway, because I need to level up my bending and my spirit energy as fast as I can. And I have not yet played Chapter 6 off-screen like I suggested I might do. Kind of want to see if I can just go ahead and head to the next chapter and, you know, max it out that way. So, spirit energy, there we go. Now that's the maximum amount of stuff I can equip, so I'll probably be swapping these out for the final battle in Chapter 8, but for now, we are good to go, so let us begin Chapter 7. Oh my. No cutscene or anything? Oh, again with the maniacal laughter. No true chaos? No true chaos? Wait, which form of no? Is that N-O or K-N-O-W? I'm gonna go with K-N-O-W. He wants you to know true chaos. The air temple? No, it can't be. I know, right? Why are we at the frickin' air temple? Oh well. Let's pick a bending style that isn't quite level 7, and let's focus on that. I don't think you actually get any experience with your bending style for destroying stuff. I think you have to actually defeat enemies. But anyway, we're gonna see what we can do about all this, and... Go ahead and charge, and... Not really much point in smashing everything. I guess I'll just get to it here. Up these stairs once again. We've been here before. Why are we here, though? I wish I knew who was talking, but I don't recognize their voice. Is it Janora? It hurts. Please help me. She sounds older than Janora, so it's someone else. I just don't remember the details. It's really weird. I don't know who's talking right now whenever I smash these. It's all over, Cora. Farewell. I don't know who's talking, otherwise I could give you better context, so I apologize for that. I just I don't know who's talking. Who is speaking? Who is saying it's all over, Cora? Is this not possible? Oh, let's do this thing, because why not? Is that a lot of damage? Good, rank A, good. So all spirit energy collection should be doubled, including those, but I'm not sure. Welcome, Avatar. Take your time. You have all eternity trapped in my illusion, after all. All eternity trapped in your illusion? I think not. Anyway, I need to be careful here because my attack power is cut in half. And I'm probably not used to that, so... I'm gonna see what happens here. Prepare to block, prepare to block. Oh! I wasn't ready. Well, that's one way to do it. Well, this isn't going so bad. I mean, I guess I'm doing less damage, but that doesn't seem to actually hurt much. Oh, come on, Korra. Get your counters going. There we go. Even with the attack power cut in half, the counters seem pretty effective, so I guess I don't have to be too worried. Alright, let's do that attack again with the ice. Oh, I tried to dodge that, but I was way too early. It ended up just hitting me. The heck? Okay, counter, 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 counter. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, this is the fun one. My favorite counter ever. Beat him up real good. Yeah, that's right, Korra. Show him who's boss. Show him who's the freaking avatar around here. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. Get iced. Finish him off. Jeez, I thought I already did that. Whatever, though. 
All right, double cheat charge, maybe. Dodge. Another one. Dodge. All right. Ice him again. And now don't hold back. Unleash your maximum potential. Booyah! Are we done yet? Yes, these equalists are so simple. Sprinkle in a few words about the equality they crave, and they dance in the palm of your hand. Pathetic humans. Pathetic humans? Jeez, old man, that sounds like my line. A lot of the time. Oh well. We're getting earthy up in this place. Boom! Even with half attack power, they don't stand a chance. This pleases me. Oh, 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 oh. There's so many of them. All right, firebending. I'm the avatar. Let's use all four elements in our fights. Because if, fire, if firebending goes to level eight, I'm not going to be mad. It's just I wanted to level the other ones. I don't really need to level air, but I'll throw in some airbending. And water. Earth again. Finish them, Korra. Boom. Okay, Earthbending is now level seven. I'm gonna focus on water some more, so. All right, let's dodge, get out of the way. Boom. Oh, that's an area of, like a real good area of effect that has if you do it right. Oh, that's great. Never realized how effective that was. Firebending's gonna be level eight soon. It's inevitable. Holy crap, Cora! look how fast you're moving. Look how much distance you're covering. You're just, boom, she's borderline teleporting at this point. Charge the key, Cora. There we go. Oh, you can't counter it if it misses, I guess. Shoot. These fools, they hear the tingle of coins and forget their own mothers. Aha. They have no idea what they are doing. Oh, oh the triad's here, I didn't realize that. No mercy. This is gonna be hard with attack power cut in half, I tell you what. But there we have it. Earth, or fire, not earth bending, fire bending level eight. Need more water. Everything's gotta catch up to earth and, or air and fire now. Oh, I forgot how tough these guys are. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, I pressed the wrong direction. I was expecting the double counter where I pressed both sticks upward, but it wasn't time for that yet. I guess the counters are a bit random that way. They're not always the same. Yeah, do the ice thing. Oh yeah, get iced, baby. <laughs> He's so helpless there, look at him, oh man. Finish him off, Korra. Holy crap, even with half attack power and everything, this is going really, really well. Oh, apparently that battle's over. Okay. Can we fight the final boss now? I'm just kidding. This is chapter seven, so there's no chance of that. <laughs> Stay, a little longer. Stay a little longer? I think not. Pro bending again? What a twist! Counter, Cora, counter. Come on, counter. There we go. I think you don't actually have to beat these guys, but I am gonna try anyway, because that's my goal here. Yeah, things get tricky in this thing later on. Just you wait. It looks like a regular pro bending match now, but I tell you what, man, just you wait. This is not your average fight. Hopefully I'm still getting my double spirit energy and stuff. I don't even know anymore. I don't think this fight, these fights level up my bending experience, though, which is a huge shame. Oh man, I got knocked back. Like I said, I don't have to win this, but I'm still gonna try.
Come on, Korra, counter. You can only counter so fast. How do you counter multiple things? Is that even possible? I've always wondered about that. Ow. This is really hard. Either that or I'm just bad at it. Could be both, really. Oh! I just need to remember to dodge. It's easier than countering. What? Holy crap, I am not doing well here. I thought I almost had these guys back. Oh, I got knocked off? Whoa, okay, no need to get violent now. Round two. Round two. Does something seem off to you? Uh, this isn't fair. They're breaking the rules. I can switch elements again. Yeah, that's right, folks. It's no longer a pro-bending match. It's just a regular fight on the pro-bending match arena, because there's a difference. This is kind of like fighting the triad, because they, all, they have the three different elements here, and none of them, of course, use air, because, like I said, you never fight any airbenders in this game, which is a little bit disappointing, but still. All right, sure. I love doing the counter thing. Straightforward and simple, baby. I'm trying to counter here, or block, or something. Okay, I'm gonna let, gotta let my health regenerate here, otherwise I'm gonna freaking die. You can't handle my jumping and dodging. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, man. Well, oh, that's odd. I thought this attack only worked when you charge your key, but actually it's just a strong version that only works when you charge your key. It makes a tiny pathetic version when you're not fully charged. Okay. Always gotta be ready for that. Throws me off more times than I'd like to admit in my other off-screen playthroughs. Boom! You're going down right now. For some reason, my earthbending isn't working. It's gotta be some kind of weird game bug where I'm doing the thing, but nothing's appearing. I guess it happens like when I'm near the edges of stuff. Ooh! Look at the two rocks in the air and then they close in and hit him from both sides. Well, that's one down, two to go. Holy crap. That old man is here to mess crap up. I don't know if I like that. Okay, yeah, let's do that thing. Booyah. Ice, 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 ice. He is now immobilized. Finish him! He's not done yet, though. I guess because our attack power is cut in half, even our finishing moves don't quite work the way they're supposed to. Oh man, this really is challenging. A little bit. That's no, not too bad, though. Um, there. Level eight earthbending. Sweet. Back to water. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight, so I should do okay with. No, it's not a one-on-one -on -one fight. I've got the old man here raining electricity down on me. Charge your chi, Cora. That's what I was trying to do, and it wasn't doing anything. Oh crap. Oh, I better not die here. That would really suck. Oh wow, are you serious? Let's give this another shot. Yeah, it's because my attack power cut in half, otherwise this would have been done a long time ago. I'm telling you what, man. This isn't fair. They're breaking the rules. And earthbending is no longer level eight. It seems all your like level ups go back when you die. So I think like before I thought I could just stay on a level and grind my bending experience. No, that's not how this works at all. When you restart the fight like this, everything goes back to how it was, which sucks. It means I have to level up earthbending again. That kind of sucks. Am I really going to show this whole fight again? I really don't know what, what I should do. Ow! Holy crap. Wow, am I gonna freaking die again already? Do I really have to give up my spirit energy talisman just to get through this fight? I really hope not. Good lord. Alright, I'm just gonna spam some firebending. That should help. No, the old man is here. Darn it, I hate him. He's so annoying. Fine. Cool. As long as we're doing this, my health is actually still regenerating while I'm going through the counter moves. That's amazing. I wish I could get those to happen on command because they're so useful. 
I countered you. That should have not worked. Whatever. I dodge that electricity. All right, cool. Maybe I can finish them both off at the same time. Okay, firebending's now level 9, and earthbending is not level 8, because I haven't been using earthbending like I did the first time. But whatever, I'll use earthbending now, just because. Are we done yet? Oh, cool, I survived that time. Maybe I'll have to cut down the one that was a failure and keep this run. I don't even know anymore. Is that the end of the chapter? Probably not. What horrors await us next? Oh no, more ma maniacal laughter. I can't take it. Stop, stop. Let the chaos what over you? I didn't catch that. Cross over you? Wait, what? Oh, this is different. All my bending is locked, but I fight in the earth bending style, and I'm really big. Interesting. And there's three freaking mecha tanks here. I don't think I've ever failed this fight, so we'll see how it goes this time. Dodge. <laughs> Trying to regenerate my health a little bit, because I, I think you can actually lose this fight. I've just never actually lost it before. Even on extreme, I think I did okay here. Oh man, I think I can counter that. I've just never actually done it as Big Korra, which is strange. That's what I call this form, is just Big Korra. Oh man. I don't know why I'm trying to charge my chi. Such a thing is not possible in this fight. Holy crap, man. Everything feels like really slow in this fight too, which really throws you off. Yeah, I killed those defenseless little guys. Oh darn, I really need to block the Mega Tank's attacks even if I can't counter them like I want to. I really want to know if I can counter them, though. I've never ever been able to perform any counters in this fight, no matter how hard I try. So it might not even be possible. Ow. I feel like they're real slow to attack, and that they're also not very effective. Wow, tell you what. Health refill. They really do make this fight kind of easy. Even if it is kind of annoying. Okay, I lied. It's not as easy as I thought. Forgot that my attack power is cut in half, so I think all these fights are taking twice as long as they should. I was afraid that would happen. And that makes sense, because with half attack power, you're doing half damage, I suppose. Wow, a health refill just when I needed it. How convenient, but also very contrived in a way. I don't even know anymore. Man, I really wish I had my bending. Because this is just getting annoying. We're almost to 400,000 spirit energy, though, so things are going kind of well. I probably will have to replay one of these chapters off screen to get more. I don't even sure. I don't even think my bending is leveling up as fast as I was I was hoping it to. But wow, we really got to hammer away at these guys. One of them's almost dead. I think I want to kill him first. Oh my gosh. Dodge. I don't think you can counter. I mean, you can block, yeah, but there's no counters. It becomes kind of pointless in a way. There's no knockback, though. I just take damage, and I'm still there. And that's actually what some of those items do later. It, like, has no knockback when your cheese fully charged, and that's what I'm hoping to buy. Jeez, man. This is a long, drawn-out fight with half my attack power. Counter? See? See? I just can't counter. It's not countering. It's only blocking. Is it supposed to be that way? I don't know. And of course you can't block or counter electrical attacks, you never could. But still. Alright, that one's down. Two more to go. Did you just shoot one of those pathetic little rope things at me? That's not gonna work, I'm gigantic. I'm the tank here. Normally, I'd go through this fight like they were tissue paper, but that half attack power really is costing me time. Did you just go through that other guy? Did you just clip through his geometry? I call shenanigans there. Alright, hit me, baby. Dare ya. 
Okay, I was way too early anyway. Oh! I know I can block you guys, but I guess I really can't counter. I've been trying. Okay, that was clearly too early. Yeah, there's no counter. I'm sure of it now. You can't counter in this fight. You can only block and dodge. And use earthbending style fighting with no actual earth appearing, so what do? Oh, come on! Let me kill you! Are you dead? I think he's dead, guys. Oh, they're both dead? What happened? That's alright, I'll take it. Playtime is over! Be thankful your spirit has not far to travel. Oh, cool, we're back to normal fighting. These guys are even bigger than the other ones, I think. I'm not even sure. There we go. Why not get uh, why not get fire bending maxed out? It's at level nine. It's so close to level ten, kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna level up air if I can. Gotta use my counters though, otherwise I probably am gonna die. I think I've already fought these guys before. I don't know if these are bigger or not. It could be in my head. Ow, that hurt. I think I'm getting better at these counters here, which is amazing. There we go. Always be ready to counter. Because you never know when you're going to need to. Boom! You're going down fast, buddy. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. All your base have belonged to us. Back! Back, you fiends! Holy crap, I am almost dead. I'm going to do this. Ah, uh -huh, you can't touch me. I really can't even see where I'm going. Darn camera. <laughs> so cheap, just regenerating my health, riding around in my air ball. Oh man, super effective. There you go. Have some air. Haha, -ha, boom! Yep, I'm going crazy with the air bending. Oh, I got knocked back again. Crap. Gotta be careful here. Finish him! Oh, I finished both of them with air? Oh boy. How many levels am I gonna get? Just, just one? Oh, that's fine then. Airbending is now level nine. Am I supposed to win this somehow? Or is this another one of those fights where I'm purposely supposed to lose? Oh, okay. Very well, then. I'm tempted to skip this, but nah. Deja vu, man. Could have swore this already happened earlier in the Let's Play. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Okay, this hurts. I don't have a health bar anymore, though. Cora, remember, we are all one. There is no light or dark, no good or evil, no human or spirit. All are one. Let go, Korra. The division between you and your enemies is an illusion. All are one. Korra, there is no light or dark. To fight another is to fight yourself. Let go. At long last, Korra has finally awakened as the Avatar. Not only able to control all four elements, but able to use all four elements at the same time! Oh, You cannot handle this! Screw all of you, I am the Avatar! This cannot be happening! 
And naturally, this is the most overpowered thing ever. Are the mecha tanks done yet? I think they're almost done. <laughs> you can't handle this. I'm the mother avatar, baby. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not supposed to be evil. Whatever though. Let's do this again. Not sure if it matters how long you charge this. But darn, if it isn't super effective every single time. Air, fire, earth, water. Air, fire, earth, water. And... Air, fire, earth, water. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, is, am, I, am I a half-powered avatar because I cut my attack power in half to get more spirit energy? Oh, that's amazing. And I'm almost at 460,000, which is my goal to buy those other items. Which, arguably, I didn't use those items at all in my first playthrough, but they're so useful. That's why I'm going for them. Is everyone dead yet? Oh, was having trouble finding you down there, seeing as I'm so gigant gigantically powerful, I couldn't even sense you there. Oh, man. Anyone else want to die? You may have regained your avatar powers, but our battle is far from over. Oh, do we finally get to fight now? Okay, what's he doing? Seriously. Oh, okay. I guess you can call that earthbending. You sound constipated, old man. Better calm down there. Ah! Oh, that's the end of the chapter. And I have reached my goal of 460,000 spirit energy, so I can purchase those other items that make me borderline overpowered. I guess I don't have to replay any chapters off screen. That's amazing. I'm probably going to buy those now before we move on to the next episode or next chapter. I only put one of these up per week, though, so it's kind of slow paced in a way. But anyway. That's it. We're about ready to fight the final boss soon. Hello, Cora. Gotta go to the shop, and what's this? This allows you to enter, enter Avatar State for a brief while. Use this to get out of tight situations. Yeah, but I don't think you have to buy that to use your avatar powers in the final battle from time to time, do you? I don't think so. Anyway, this is going to be 300,000 here. And this other one is 160,000. So now I can finally get both of these. All right, and by that one, we had just enough pretty much. Now we're all the way back down to 13,679. Thank you. Come again. And I guess I'll equip these. I think I've run into a problem, though, where I equip these and I, and it doesn't quite save. So I end up having to equip them again the next time I record. But anyway, this keeps my chi fully charged at all times. And this one prevents all stuns, staggers, and knockbacks when chi is fully charged. So these two go hand in hand. Oh yeah, that, that cuts my health in half, but still... It actually, I think, did help a lot in extreme mode. I don't even remember at this point. Let's go and get him. Oh man. Well, guys, I suppose that's all for now. I'm the Sporkinator. Thank you for watching, and may we meet again in the future, where I take on the final boss, Hoondoon, an old foe at the edge of chaos. Until next time, keep on being the Avatar, or whatever. Goodbye for now. I'm the mother flippin' avatar, baby.